Congrats on your brand new bike. We'll walk you through the steps it takes to assemble your bike correctly. If for any reason you do not have the proper tools or are not confident to build a bike yourself, we strongly suggest that you take your bike to a local bike shop for assistance or have them assemble it. They may charge you a fee to do so. Hi, I'm Greg from Nash Bar, and I'm here to show you how to unpack and assemble your new mountain bike. Tools you need. Box cutter or scissors. X wrench set, typically 6mm, 5mm, and 4mm wrenches, as well as a T25 Torx are required. Pedal wrench. Cable cutters. Bike grease. Screwdriver. Preferably a bike stand. And a bike pump. Carefully cut through the top of the cardboard box with a sharp box cutter or a pair of scissors. Once the box is open, remove the saddle and seat post. Remove the bike. Remove the small parts box. Be sure that all parts and material are removed before proceeding. Carefully remove all of the packaging material from the bike. Detach the front wheel from the side of the frame. Remove all cardboard and material from the bike frame. Remove all cardboard and material from the handlebar stem, and fork. Install the seat post. Apply a small amount of grease to the inside of the seat tube and the seat post below the minimum insertion line. For carbon seat post installation, do not use grease. Use carbon paste instead. Loosen the bike frame seat clamp and insert the seat post beyond the minimum insertion line. Clamp down the quick release lever or use a hex wrench to tighten. Do not over tighten. Install the stem and handlebar. Be sure that your cable routing is appropriate and there are no kinks in the cables. Remove the stem faceplate bolts with the hex wrench. Place the handlebar in the stem. Make sure the handlebar is positioned appropriately. Resecure the faceplate and bolts to the stem with a hex wrench by alternately and equally tightening them. For reference, the gap opening between the faceplate and the stem should be equal on both the top and bottom. Do not over tighten. Install the front wheel, rim brakes. Install quick release skewer, located in the small parts box, through the axle of the front wheel. Note positioning of the coil springs on the skewer before mounting. Mount the front wheel on the fork. The quick release lever should be on the non-drive side. For reference, this is the left side of the bike if you are sitting on the saddle. Tighten the skewer. Once tightened, make sure that the quick release is tucked upwards to avoid snags. Depress front brake lever. Insert brake cable into lever. Release front brake lever while inserting brake cable through lever body and barrel adjuster. Pull on the aluminum cable noodle with one hand while hooking the lower end of the noodle into the slotted link on the brake arm. Your brake pads will need to be adjusted. Do not let the pad come in contact with the wheel rim at any time during the wheel revolution. If you have a through axle design, thread the axle through the fork and wheel. Tighten by threading the axle clockwise. Install the front wheel disc brakes. Install the front wheel disc rotor, located in the small parts box, to the front wheel with T25 Torx bolts. Note rotation direction indicated on the rotor. Use a T25 Torx wrench to tighten the bolts in a star pattern. Tighten the bolt directly across from the bolt that you have just tightened. Install quick release skewer, located in the small parts box, through the axle of the front wheel. Note positioning of the coil springs on the skewer before mounting. Install brake caliper on fork with hex wrench. Do not firmly secure the brake bolts. The bolt should be loose enough to allow for a rotor brake rotor alignment. Remove the bleed block located in the brake cylinder before wheel installation. Do not squeeze the brake lever until the brake caliper and wheel are in place. Carefully maneuver the rotor into the disc brake caliper. Tighten the skewer. Once tightened, make sure that the quick release is tucked upwards to avoid snags. Grab and hold the front brake lever on the handlebar to center the brake caliper alignment to the rotor. Tighten brake bolts to secure brake caliper. Release hold on the front brake lever and carefully rotate the front wheel. Make sure that the rotor does not contact the brake pads. Adjust brake caliper as necessary. If you have a through axle design, remove the axle from the fork before wheel installation. Install pedals. Apply a small amount of grease to each pedal thread. Install right pedal, R, located on the pedal axle or spindle by threading into the drive side crank arm in a clockwise direction. For reference, this is the right side of the bike if you are sitting on the saddle. 
Do not force a pedal that will not thread easily. You may inadvertently cross-thread the crank arm, which will result in damage to the product. Tighten the pedal with a pedal wrench. Install the left pedal by threading into the non-drive side crank arm in a counterclockwise direction. For reference, this is the left side of the bike if you are sitting on the saddle. Tighten the pedal with a pedal wrench. Inflate tires. Each tire has a manufacturer's recommended PSI located on the sidewall. Please follow the recommended inflation setting. Adjust your bike's suspension per the manufacturer's instruction manual. Install reflectors. Install handlebar reflector, colored clear, located in the small parts box, to the handlebar with the Phillips head screwdriver. Use provided shims, located in the small parts box, as necessary for a secure fit. Install seat post reflector, colored red, to the seat post with a Phillips head screwdriver. Final check. Make sure that everything on the bike is secure before riding. Make sure that your front and rear brake function properly. Make sure that the bike shifts gears properly, if applicable. Make sure that the handlebars and stem are tight and do not move when you hold the front wheel between your legs and twist them. If for any reason you do not have the proper tools or are not confident to build a bike yourself, we strongly suggest that you take your bike to a local bike shop for assistance or have them assemble it. Thanks for choosing Bike Nash Bar.